Okay, stripping some appliances can start to fill the bin. It's old school stove, so there's lots in it. So with this one here, don't worry about how long you cut it, just cut it like that. I cut these off right away. So what you do is you cut them here. Cut the ground, pull the ground first. Ground out. There it is, stripped right out of the case. This is strippable. Just do like we cut here with the switch. These two get cut. There's some stationary grounds also that have to be cut. It's ground. It's lights. Temperature sensor. Sometimes they come out easy. Sometimes they're hard. This one came out a little bit harder. It's copper. In the copper pile. Okay, on this post here, we'll have like a higher gauge or a lower gauge wire you can strip. A 12 gauge, maybe. I'm not worried about all the wire, I'm just worried about what's easy. It's just so much wire otherwise. There it is. And then over here, it's a 12 gauge or close to 12. Might not be exactly 12 gauge, but it's thicker than the other stuff. Jumper. There it is. Jumper. So I'll take these off here. Since there's no copper bar, it's just these little pieces of brass. screwdriver there's a clip on both sides here just have to release the clip both sides the switch comes out without bothering a 
little bit different. Okay, this one we'll like this. Some are really big, and some have uh, have actual um, things you unscrew. This one, I'm gonna open it up a little bit. It might have a contact or something here, but it's a little different than the other one. Yeah, just feel okay. You got that. Then you go with these things here. Might as well do them right away. It's easier to do them right away. Like that. Some of these are, will be steel, so. Let's run a magnet on it. Steel. Mostly steel here, but there's a little bit of brass at the end here. I mean, there's silver plated contacts, but I don't bother with silver right now. Fair amount actually, so it's, it is worth doing it. This one's probably steel. But we'll run a magnet on here just to take a quick look. It's not it's all brass, see that? And there is silver contacts on these also. See that, guys? Old school stuff, see that? Nice. This stove is basically ready. I don't care about the stuff underneath here. It's a little bit of wire, but not no big deal. Okay, let's sit on that one. This is an old stove here. It's called Tappan. Took the four, four screws out. It's aluminum. Right there. Actually. Pound aluminum there. Rusted it was out. It was so rusty and it was still in use. Hard to believe. That was a working stove in the house. An apartment building. Wow, unbelievable. 
see if I can get this. Get this sleeve off. Like this. Might be the one. Feels pretty light. Hmm. I'll find my. For now. It's like uh hmm. a lot of hookup points, I'll tell you. off here. Number two insulated. Or number one insulated, maybe number one. Pretty thick wire. So. It's hot today. So hot the last few days, and then I thought it's gonna rain. So now it's really muggy. There's a bell there. There's a mortar there, but.
see problem with lots of these the wires go to switch switches. That's the problem. Maybe I can pull them out maybe. I don't know, they're pulling out. Being a clip or something in a bundle, like that's why it's hard, hard to come off. They're all like this look at the wire that came under there, lots. copper wire here like a grounding right there it's got a certain kind of smell this thing almost like a PCB transformer so that smell Get off transformers, so it smells like. I thought I had them all. Still lots of wire in here. for this one. Okay, I got a printer here. Okay, this was bought at a government auction. The guy said the problem is getting the software. That's what he said, I don't know. Who knows? It's got hard driving. It's Some nice boards actually. Hmm. Very heavy. Very, very heavy. Lots of modules in here actually. Something else here.
I remember years ago these things used to be aluminum. Aluminum case. I used to scrap the aluminum cases out. All gold fingers, huh? Actually, a nice little board. like a computer basically oh they got nice boards look at that gold fingers Another one like that, identical. Hmm. Oh, it's like that's actually like a computer. It said it was like lots of money. This thing was like twenty grand or something. He said I don't know, but who knows? It could be true. It's enough stuff on it. Oh. Here's the hard drive. How big was it? 2008. 80 gig. It's nothing. Who the hell? He said it's worth so much money. This, who cares? It's so old. I made it sound like it was like new. That means the whole unit's probably 2008. Way too old. Way too old. Holy smokes. I just can't believe how heavy it is. Some RAM stick in here. Nice RAM. Well, it's better than the computer so far. Today's computers suck. At least this has some stuff in it. Motherboard out with corner chip there. Something beyond us too. So it's so heavy. Okay. Oh, this is way too heavy. Okay. Like one more screw somewhere. Well, there it is. Right there. Let's join into that one there. So we're gonna plug the stuff here.
Don't get told in this metal here. Right here. Okay. Oh, another card. Another memory card. Okay, there it is. That's on this one. It's just a kind of nice seat chip here, but it's got a big aluminum top on it. Let me just pop stuff off here. Get to the next area here. Stand by. The bolt stripped on me. Yeah, that's a nice board. It's a decent board, another one. I just can't believe how heavy this thing is. It's still really heavy. I only took a couple of boards off, but definitely very heavy. I mean, just it's hard to get off. Just so many wires. I don't know how they would repair this. Let's go here. Really good board. Hmm. A lot of mortars here and stuff. And wire, look at that. Pull all the most electronics off. So heavy, heavy gauge. Gonna keep cutting uh, more stuff apart. Okay, I'm working on the wire right now, but uh, it's a spider web here for sure. Small directions.
don't know how they would service this. If you got a problem with the wire, what would you do? If you kink the wire or something. It goes away to another section. Into this box here now. Got a bunch of mortars in here too. Ah. All mortars. Actually, nice looking mortars. Yeah. A couple mortars there. And a mortar there. Like say years ago, these were all all aluminum casings. A new guy that was stripping these years ago. I'm talking about 70s. Anyways, that's about all I'm going to do on here right now. Some mortars. These ones I had to take the other part apart, so I just took one side out. Otherwise, I have to go digging through both sides. So that's it on that. Cardboard, cardboards, well, these are some of the IC chips. Gold fingers, RAM, gold fingerboard, gold fingerboard again, gold finger. Another RAM, RAM again, hard drive, rest is this tin, even this has got actually nice plating, it's a pin here, so I'm not going to strip any more, that's it on this, get the majority out of it, get the main boards out, a little bit of wire, that's it. Thing of steel, maybe. Yeah. I've been so far. Still get packed. Lots of metal there. Still metal over here. Fill this in. It's my wire. Looks pretty heavy. Got weight to it. Okay. Okay, the bin's uh, getting there. Wish I had a couple more hot water tanks, but don't. We can put on microwaves here and about six, seven microwaves. Sally dishes, pipes. 
That should be a full load. I'm trying to get it heavy. Heavy as possible. Hmm. Just want to figure out. Electricians have left all these ones because they're harder to get out. That one's burnt already. Here, but can't tell if it's a flat or what's all painted over. Hmm. Looks like a flat, but Trying to weed weed out a bit. Get over this pipe, pipe over there. I should get all that on the bin. I think should be pretty heavy. They say anything that's galvanized is not HMS. So I'm forced to just dump it in the shred. But I'm gonna take the wire out first, as much as I could. I'm gonna paint it like ten times over. Through lots of piping already, at least 500 pounds of pipe, probably already. I would think. The problem is, I don't think I could to um, strip that wire, is really tough. like cloth right machine will probably just chewed up and not strip it properly I don't think sometimes you strip that by hand it's burnt on there it's the old wire See, like these are gonna be really heavy See, it's funny how they left. Well, they actually, they were probably slow. And I went in there and started to clean room out. So I grabbed these right away. So most of the other ones they took already. So that's, that's number one there. This I'll try stripping it. If you can't strip it, I'll just sell for number one. Number one insulated. That's oh. nice. Ground wires.
pretty thick. Just on debate on what I'm going to do with this stuff. Do I try to strip it? I haven't tried yet, but nice strip. Over the wire. Oh. oh, there it is. Get that wire out. I think this one I can strip. I can find my long bit. This one's brass, I think. sealed in there. I'm going to have to smash it out. And there's something that appears to be almost loose, but... Driver. Some copper and brass. Okay, big screwdriver. I want to cut the grass here, so I want to get all this metal in here. Cut the grass, cut the grass at the alley. Why so hard? Probably brass, I would think. I think that's brass. Aluminum. Oh, so heavy. Oh, this was loose. Hmm. 
little bit time consuming, but it's a lot extra money, right? What are you gonna do? Not that busy right now, anyways. Strip it, I don't know. Let's try. Okay. Okay. So what I'm doing is here. That's what it looks like. this thing causing it or not it just came out really easy I don't know why this one so much harder. Plastic. That's brass, see that? Pretty heavy brass. So I took them apart. Definitely worth taking them apart. They just they banged like that and popped out. How do they? Not sure how they really come out, but so far just to break them. Yes. Probably a simple way, but it's just to not come out for me for some reason. See that? Okay, so this one I'll just strip trip it off of that. Wow. It's brass too. That one I'll have to unscrew with the proper tools. Okay. Okay, some bikes here. Hmm. Part of a barbecue. Go 
directly into the bin. This guy gave me computers before. Three computers last time, some monitors. Okay. 